What is music? Music, simply put, is life. Music is therapeutic. It can alleviate pain. It helps with anxiety. It can even alter our perception of time. That's why I bring music here to my clinic. My name is Rudy Vasquez, Jr. I'm the Business Operations Supervisor for the Simmons Ambulatory Surgery Center. My name is Kay Ellis. This year I am president of the board of Texas Winds Musical Outreach and I'm delighted to work with the group. It's such a wonderful organization. Texas Winds takes its musical performances to those who could not otherwise attend such events. People who have limited financial resources or people who have mobility issues. So we are taking the performances to the people who could not otherwise go to the performances. As much as we enjoy and get satisfaction for, for performing for hospital patients, for senior citizens in retirement communities or nursing facilities, and at-risk children, perhaps the most meaningful thing we do is the performances that we take to facilities for those with cognitive impairments or memory loss. I started Texas Winds 31 years ago. I'm an oboist and I was trying to find a way to have incentive to practice. So my colleagues and I put together a woodwind quintet and we would practice every Sunday afternoon in our homes. After a while I thought that we had a pretty good program so I looked in the yellow pages under nursing homes and went to visit a nursing home to see if, if we could give a concert there. Texas Winds is a wonderful organization. It really um, it's a great way to get out in the community and meet people on a one-on-one -on -one basis that we don't get the opportunity to do when we play in an orchestra. We have so much distance uh, between us as performers and audience members. And with Texas Winds, they're right in there with you. And uh, really makes you feel like you're doing something important with your, with your work. We had someone this morning who was talking about how her husband was a professional musician and he is no longer able to communicate, uh, but the music still reaches him and it really makes a difference in, in his life. And she said that the music is, is where he's at. That's, that's where he comes alive again with the music. Compared to playing, performing on stage, um, these concerts are, they're a little more intimate. Uh, it's fun to engage with the audience um, directly. Sometimes they ask us questions. Um, it's a little more free form. Uh, one of the greatest things about playing uh, music, uh, just like the concert we just played, uh, getting the involvement of the, the audience, you know, the, the clientele here that we're playing for, it's uh, getting them clapping and seeing the joy in their face, and some places we get them up dancing a little bit, so that's always a lot of fun. So you can see in the moment uh, what our music is doing, the effect it's having, so it's quite uh, rewarding in that sense. You know, one of the things I really enjoy about it is getting to bring live music to people who otherwise don't get to experience that. You know, we kind of take for granted being able to drive to a concert hall, being able to go catch a symphony concert. Well, a lot of people, for whatever reason, you know, aren't able to experience that. So when we bring the music to them, it's basically bringing the music to the same audience. It's just you know, in a different setting. One of the neat things about playing for Texas Wind is having the opportunity to play concerts for smaller audiences in a much more intimate setting than I usually get to do playing in an orchestra, for example. In, in a large ensemble, it's very different being a trombone player where you're all the way in the back row and you don't have the interaction with the audience that I get to have here playing with my brass quintet. We come into a smaller room, we sit, sometimes people are just a couple of arm lengths away from us, and it's a, a totally different experience for me as a musician to be able to share that with people in such close proximity and be able to talk with them before and after the concert, so it's very rewarding to me as a musician to have that in my life. Um, I'm a violinist in the string quartet, and I have to say it's really one of the most re rewarding experiences I have playing. Um, after almost every single concert, 
you know, residents come up to us and express not just how much they enjoyed it, but, um, you know, they'll tell us about uh, family members who also play an instrument, about concerts they remember. It just triggers experiences in their mind and really brings great joy to them. And I can't think of anything that makes me feel better than being able to play for seniors through Texas Winds. As a professional musician, I think uh, this is one of the more unique things that I do, mainly because of the intimate connection with the audience that we get. Um, we almost always get uh, audience members engaging with us after the performance, uh, telling us how meaningful it was. And that's quite rewarding for us, but it also uh, is a good indication that we are making a difference with our art. I'm Benny Barrett, I'm the coordinator for the Center for Arts and Medicine here at Baylor University Medical Center. One day we had a cello player, I think Craig Leffer was the one playing up here in our mezzanine level. Uh, daughter brought her father in. He had been so devastated by, I think, the seven previous chemotherapies that he was unable to walk. He was very fatigued, so she was pushing him in a wheelchair. As they entered the building on the first floor, he heard the cello up on the mezzanine level and asked his daughter to take him up to that level so that he could listen to that music. She complied, she brought him up to where the cello was playing there in the performance area, and he listened intently to several selections that Craig played. Uh, many of the selections he sang along with, he knew all the words. But after a while, he finally looked up to his daughter and he said, all right, I'm ready. The music had revived him, encouraged him, given him the strength that he needed to continue in his fight. I have found that Texas Wind is most deserving of all the support they can get because of the live music and the healing that it brings, the encouragement that it brings to its audience. Uh, it's, it's worthy of any support that anyone can give. today to talk to you about all these instruments you see here. These are called percussion instruments. And can you say that word percussion? Percussion. Very good. You see this big long word here with all these letters? This spells the word percussion and let's spell it out loud together. You know your letters? E e the little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily.
away from all of this. This goes to heaven. One thing about Texas wind, you have varieties. You don't have the same thing. You, you, you know, you have different groups and different types of music, classical, you know, jazz, you know, gospel. They have it all. So uh, they enjoy it all because they get an opportunity to get a feel of each one of them and see the value that it brings to their lives. And I enjoy it. I mean, you know, like, I just be right in there with them. I enjoy it myself. You know, it's good for me, too. And that's so rewarding. And when you see the look on their faces, just, just to see the expression on their face, but to know that you thought enough of them to come out and do this, it make, that's what keeps me going. When I look at the expression and hear the remarks and the comments that they tell me each and every time you all come in here and do something, it just makes me feel good about that, to know that I'm reaching them. It's marvelous that we can go out and reach so many people through music. We could not do it without wonderful people who support our mission, individual donors, foundations, the cities and towns of Dallas County that give us grants to perform in their facilities. All of that makes it possible for us to continue what we do. Hey.